morning. Grimble's up to something, planning a little trick. Something he's going to play on Sappy, Mo and Jick. I'll show him about pets. I'm going to pretend I've got a pet spider and that she lives in this box. <laughs> she's very rare and very beautiful and she's called Ermintrude. And I'm going to trick Sappy, Mo and Jick into believing in her. <laughs> Hey, Mo, why do we need so many dog biscuits? Because we'll probably be selling dogs in our pet shop. They are one of the world's favourite pets. And we have to feed them when they arrive. Oh, I can't wait. Our very own pet shop. Brilliant. What other animals are we going to have? I'm not sure. The most important thing is that we have everyone's favourite animals. Cats are very popular, so we'll probably have some of them. Oh, and fish. Grimble? The first animal for our pet shop, Mo. Oh, what is it, Grimble? Let me have a look. Careful, you two, you might wake her. Huh? Ermintrude, a very rare and beautiful spider. Oh, let me have a look, please. She's sleeping at the moment and doesn't like being woken up. Oh. Come on, we've got work to do. We have to decide which pets to keep. Will we have more cats and dogs? Should we keep snakes? Yeah. Jake, some people like snakes. And spiders. How are we going to know which animals to sell? What is the world's favourite animal? We've said cats and dogs and fish. But how many? More fish? Fewer dogs? What? What they need to do is to ask people what they think and what they might buy. What we need to do is to ask people what they think and what they might buy. There you are. Told you. Ask people what their favourite animal is, so we know which ones to keep. Right, who's going to help me? Grimble? Oh, I don't think I can, Mo. You see, when Ermatrude wakes up, she'll want to be fed. Oh, I can feed her. Oh, I only wish you could, Sappy. I only wish you could. But Ermatrude is so fussy that only I can feed her. You see, she knows me. Oh. Tell you what, Sappy, you can help me. I need someone to go out and ask people which animal they like the best. Why? So we know which animal to keep. Exactly. And whichever animal comes top, I'll make sure we have at least ten of them in our shop. Ten spiders. Brilliant. Ten dogs. Brilliant. People like dogs. But why do we have to ask people this question? What's your favourite animal, would you say? Wouldn't it be best if one of us just guessed? As finding out could take most of the day Why do we have to ask people this question When I know the answer is a cat It will save a lot of time If the favourite pet is mine I've asked me, got the answer, that is that When you ask many different people Understand another point of view Until we know the facts You won't know which way to act So asking is the only thing to do All right, Mo, I'm off. Say goodbye to Ermintrude. Say goodbye to a spider that isn't there. She'll miss you. Now say goodbye. Okay. Goodbye, Ermintrude. I'll tell you say goodbye when she wakes up. What's your favourite animal? What do you say? A cheetah. A cat. It's a rabbit. Oh, I like cats. I like dinosaurs. Well, it's got to be Remy, my dog. Sap 
Happy the Spectacular. I've asked the question, what is your favorite animal? I asked mums, I asked dads, I asked grandmas, lots of children, and I even asked the policeman. So, what did you find out? Well, these are my findings. Quite a lot of people said they liked hamsters. I didn't think of hamsters. Good. Lots of people said that they liked dogs the best. Told you they would. Lots of people said that cats were the favourite animal. No one said spiders. Oh. No one? No one. Well, I like spiders. But which do they like the most? Cats or dogs? Which was their favourite? I don't know. They seem to like both. What do you mean you don't know? Didn't you count? No. Well, didn't you write anything down? Well, no one said anything about writing. There doesn't seem much point in asking questions if you can't remember the answers. Oh, well, we better try again. Grimble? Yes, Mo? I want you to go out. Oh, but I can't, Mo. I would love to help you find out what the favourite animal is, but when Ermintrude wakes up, she'll want to go out for a walk. Oh, I could do it. I only wish you could, Sappy. But as I said before, Ermintrude needs expert attention. Very well. Chick! I think you better go and ask people what they think. Oh, can I? Can I? Thank you, Mo. Thank you. I recorded all the results as you asked me. Excellent. What did you find out? 19 people like cats. That's a lot of people, I told you. 25 people like dogs. Oh. And 6 people like hamsters. What about fish? Did anyone say they liked fish? I'm really surprised no one said fish, because I like fish. I don't know. Maybe some people like fish, but I didn't ask them. What do you mean you didn't ask? What did you ask them? I asked if they would like to help find out what is the world's favourite animal. I know that. What did you ask them next? I asked who likes dogs best, who likes hamsters best, and who likes cats best. Oh, dear. Oh, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. You were supposed to ask the same question as Sappy, not a different one. What's your favourite animal? Then, unlike Sappy, I wanted you to write down the answers so you wouldn't forget. Well, I was nearly right. Well, you were both nearly right. Ah, I don't know about that. Sounds like they were both nearly wrong to me. Sappy asked the right question, but didn't write down the answers. And Jick wrote down the answers, but asked the wrong question. Grimble, I'm sorry. You will have to go out there and ask people what their favourite animal is. Otherwise, we'll never know what to keep, and we'll never get the pet shop open. Yes, Mo. Do you think I could take Ermintrude with me? Not a very good idea. You might lose her. And you wouldn't want that now, would you? No, I suppose not. I know. I can put her in the fish tank so she can't run away. Mm. Oh, we'll yeah, look after her. her. We'll make sure she doesn't escape. Well, she's sleeping at the moment, so you must promise not to wake her. Promise. Promise. And you won't frighten her. We, we won't, won't frighten her. And you won't open the box because she'll escape. And you wouldn't want her to escape now, would you? Oh, we, we wouldn't. And, Go and now, Grimble. She'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, and don't fill the tank full of water, because she can't swim. Bye, Bye Grimble. Grimble! Bye, Ermintrude. If you ran a fairground, there would be things you would need to find out. Like which ride your customers liked best. 
Hello, my name's Stephen Kemble. I'm doing a survey to find out which rides the children like best at the fairground today. Is it all right if I ask them? Yes, yeah, sure. How old are you? Eleven. And what was your favourite ride? The ghost train. Thank you. Which ride did you like best? The car. The castle. Thanks very much. The questions go on and on. And after a whole day, the ride that most children preferred was the carousel. But how was Grimble getting on? I like kangaroos because they hop. My favourite animal is a dog. My favourite animal is a cat. My favourite animal is a dog. My favourite is a tiger. My favourite animal is a giraffe. I like a monkey. I like a dog. My favourite animal is a... tiger. My favourite animal is a monkey. My favourite is a tiger. My favourite animal is a camel. <laughs> I want to have a look at Grimble's spider, but I don't want it to bite me. I should be all right with these. <laughs> you don't need them. Ermintrude won't bite you. She might? She won't. It's impossible, I know. How do you know? I know. Look. You see? She won't bite you. It's empty, Sappy. Ermintrude has escaped. <sighs> no, she hasn't. Well, she must have. She's gone. There never was a spider. Never was a spider. What do you mean? This morning, I saw Grimble with this box, and it was empty. Grimble was playing a trick on us. Are you sure? Absolutely positive. Right, then. Let's play a trick back on him. <laughs> I've already thought of that. Clockwork spider. <laughs> oh, quick, Sappy, Grimble's coming back. Don't you want to say hello to Ermintrude? No, we can't open this pet shop. She needs feeding. Grimble? So you see, we're going to have to close it down. I think you're right, Grimble. We've got no choice. We'll have to close the shop down. But why? With what Grimble's just told me, we've got no choice. It's what most people said. Grimble found out that tigers are the world's favourite animal. So we'd have to have tigers in the shop. You can't have a tiger in here. It might eat me. And all the customers. Yes. So no pet shop. Oh, we've still got Ermintrude. What are you two up to? Nothing. Nothing. What is in that box? Nothing. 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 Nothing? When you ask many different people, you understand another point of view.